So is it crazy three days to put in a wood burning stove? We are putting in a fireplace. This tree was dead. I think it's an ash wood tree. And we were going to have CNL come, which is our power company, and they'll cut dead trees when they're close to a power line for you. They'll just throw it and leave it. Well, I'm good. The viewers, what we're doing. Or, yeah, we're going to the hair salon. And then what are we getting after that for the cows? Then what are we getting after that for the house? What are we getting after the that for the house. The fireplace. How does he make hay? God makes hay cuts. So we have to get all the material at our house to be able to do this first, plus hay. All right. Seems like a lifetime. Our bus slash barn. Let you kind of look in there a little. And this, we loaded up the tile and the board needed. We're going to try to get this thing done in three days. But this was our milking pasture. And so, new things come when old things go. And I can promise you, this is gone. So we've made it home. This is where it's going to be. Sorry, the lighting is so pitiful. But this is what we've got to move out. And I'll show you the trailer real quick because, like I say, it's kind of like the clamp is. So that, this side's not too terrible, but I will say, here's this. And then... Here's our cement board. Here's our tile. Uh, now I can't quite see it, but this is really the clampet part. Look, <laughs> it just kind of looks funny. So we've got to sand that off and paint it. Um, but and clean it out. But this is going to be our warmth can we get this done in time for seven degree temps i really do think so but it's starting to get cold right now so let me get that spot moved out because i'm going to lay some tile down to kind of measure out we're going to try to cut nothing if we can't help it is this contraption this will sit on our stove and we can cook things on it or keep a pot of some sort my papa made it when he worked at the paper mill from extra stuff that was hanging around okay hold on si hold on Huh? 
Gotta make a little dust just to get stuff done. Maybe on the baseboard. Let me see it, Si. Let me see it. No, you're not going to be helpful by not listening. Come. Hold on the cutting thing first. No, this one. This one. Pick it up. Don't touch nothing. Here. Come do it. No, not yet. Yes. Nail it in. Now you gotta nail it in. Don't go to another one. Oh, that's why I was saying we could de undo this one and come up with some chains and like hang them from the ceiling or something in a decorative way. Like undo this lamp is what I was saying. Like take it apart for those who thought I was nuts. And like have some chain hanging from the ceiling where it's not like connected. It's just plugged in. So here's the other two. Why in the way? We're all completely occupied. So what did we get done yesterday? Remember, or if we haven't said it in this video, we're trying to, in three days, have this fireplace working. We have a tree that fell down in a bad storm. We've had multiple fronts come or on their way. The first one was the really bad storm. They knocked a dead ash tree down. The second one came in yesterday, which was strong winds and blew in cold weather. But that's not the coldest our weather's going to get. We have another front that's going to blow in weather that keeps us cold below freezing for three days at the least. And there's potential snow, which sometimes means ice here, and it could get nasty. We really want this in, and we're trying to do this. So if you're still watching this video, like, subscribe, do all this. This is aiding us in our no spin year. But I'm going to reveal to you what we got done. We were up till midnight. We didn't start on this till 3 o'clock because we had to actually go and get all the materials because none of them were in our wheelhouse. And so we only had to go to town twice because we didn't get a trial to uh, be able to finish what our goal was yesterday. All right, are you ready? 
Are you ready? So look at that. I'm sorry, this is such bad lighting. Um, but we were able to get all this done. Today I go to work and Tyler will be tending to this himself. I may or may not get off, you know, an hour or two early. But I think what his goal is, is to grout the tile and be letting that set. And then he's got to sand, buff off, get the rust off of the stove out there and paint it. Okay. I hope y'all know I've got a new phone that I'm using. I'm sorry if my angles are funny, but that's all I got. All right. Yesterday I worked, and I've got a big surprise I did not expect to have when I got home. I'm going to show it to you. Yeah. It's about our fireplace, and... Thankfully, it worked out, but look at this. Tyler finished it. Y'all, I'm sorry that the lighting is terrible, but Tyler finished it. Look at this. We still need the thing up there, but the outside, it's working, so I just, I'm starting, I'm starting a fire. As always, when we do projects, the house ends up a wreck. And so we are going to, you know, clean up. So kids, get the laundry done. Laundry now. Uh -uh, I'm gonna dishes. Daddy's out cutting wood. And I've changed clothes. I a cinnamon bun. And I've got to go out and get the animals ready. If we lose the water, because we lose the lights, that'll be a problem. We didn't have enough time to prepare for that. We got to figure that out differently for future purposes. But. He was able to paint it, sand it, grout it, everything needed. And we only are using heat from now on, from the fireplace. Just in time to look, our ground is white. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to think about outside. I mean, here's the next one outside. One's by the fridge. I mean, by the fireplace we're going to talk about in this video. Mommy! <laughs> Do it. Get it out. Go. Fun. Have it. Where are you going, Si? I'm going to get the blue color. No. I'm holding it. You asked Daddy. Can you open it for me? So. I just want to open it for me. There's your snow angel. It's actually sleet, Angel. We have sleet. Tons of sleet. It is still falling. It's been doing it all night. Started yesterday um, around afternoon. Now, let me say this. I didn't know. Do, is it a northern thing that y'all would have? Um, oh, okay. In the northern part of the United States, do y'all have an extra refrigerator? So we keep our eggs. Luckily we don't always keep milk there, but we have no milk in it, just our eggs. Guess what? It was 16 degrees last night, and my bad. I didn't know that our eggs would freeze in the refrigerator. In our shed back here, if you can see it. Um, I was really proud to be able to like have, I had quite a bit of eggs in there. They're making like six to eight a day. And that, back supplies over. Not bad. So, we don't get a lot of winter weather, and if you're laughing, that's fine. But, um, 
crumb. Did not know that it would freeze that way. It didn't at 27 degrees, which makes sense why it wouldn't, but it so did now. And that is from our winter storm. You see where the stuff is off the porch? Uh, not our winter storm. That is from our uh, front that came in Friday. So we went from thunderstorms to the tree over there fell down in the big thunderstorm. And now we have snow. Arkansas is a can't make your mind up kind of weather front. And there is our dog, Dew, next week. <laughs>